Okay guys, uh, today we're going to do a quick and dirty guide to transparent images. So we're going to do that in Photo Filter 7, so let's go ahead and open that. And if you do not have Photo Filter 7, you can check out Episode 1 in my tutorials on how to get that from their website. It's a free program. And uh, let's talk first about what we mean by transparency. Uh, transparency means that you can't see the background on uh, a picture. Let's open one just to give you an idea about uh, transparencies. Like the um, publisher has a lot of transparent in images. Okay, so this is a transparent image. And you notice that there's a checkerboard back here and you say, well, that is a background. Well, technically that really just is showing me that it's transparent. There is no background. Uh, for instance, let's make us a new canvas by doing new, and we don't care what the height and weight, the height and width is, and the resolution at this time is just for tutorial. I'm going to choose a black background and click OK. So we got us a big black background here, and I'm going to move it around so I can get my other little picture out of there. Move this back up. I'm moving that. I'm just clicking and dragging that up. So. Uh, the first thing to understand is black and darker colors are harder uh, to paste a transparent image on. You see I have that box there. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hide that selection. I accidentally drug across there. Because if your image was at all jagged, it's still it's going to show up really bad on the black. But what we're going to do is show you how a transparent image looks. I'm going to click on that window. When you see the darker one, that means it's the one you've selected. I'm going to edit, copy, and I've copied this one. I'm going to click on this window. You see it's darker blue. That makes it an active window. I'm going to right click in any space here, click paste. You see there's no background. Notice that it has a little jagged box around it. That means we haven't validated it or flattened it out on that layer. I can move this around anywhere by just clicking and dragging it. So that's how a transparency works. I'm going to undo that so it's not pasted. I'm going to close our transparency that we had and we're going to open another image and make it transparent. So I'm going to go to um, Let's uh, choose the MasterCard logo. That's going to be teeny tiny, but I'm going to drag it over here. You notice that it's got a lot of white behind it. It is not transparent. And remember, this is a quick and dirty guide, which means we're going to do it in the most simple way possible to get it done the quickest. This not, might not be your best bet if you have to have complete accuracy for publication. But if you're doing this for yourself, and especially if your lines are very crisp, this is the best way to do it. Okay, over here on your right you'll see some selection tools. What we're going to do is use that third, or if it is rounded out, what we're looking for is the one that looks like a wand, and it is called a magic wand. Click on that. What this does is it will select whatever color you click on. This, like, if I click the white, it will select all the contiguous white that it sees. Remember, when I said contiguous, if that means if you got some white running down in that picture and you're just wanting the background transparent, you better do something about that because it's going to grab that too. So what I'm going to do is click this right in the white, and if you can see there's a jagged lines around there, that means that it has selected the entire white background. What I'm going to do now is go up to Image, go down to Automatic Transparency, and select Inside Selection. Now, there is no background. Tip 2. Do not leave your wand as your selector, because if you do, you may make a mistake. So after you've done that, go over and select your little arrow, which is like your cursor, and you're back on a regular selection. Now. Let's see what we've done. Let's go up and copy this. It's dark blue, so I've got this one selected. Edit, copy, dark blue. It's selected. Right click in the black space, paste. Now, this time I'm going to validate the paste. So the 
that goes away. Ta-da! It's on the background. Now, let's say we want to save just this uh, photo that we've made transparency, or this is clip art. Uh, there is a couple or more formats that you can use that will retain this transparency. A JPEG is not going to do it, and others are not going to do it. Uh, some of my favorites are GIF and PNG, but how we're going to do it is we'll go up to File, Save As, and you see it has PNG selected because I like it a lot, um, but what we're going to do is uh, not going to save it that way. We're going to save it as a GIF because that's very common. So you see that we've got the name of it, GIF, save. Another little box is going to come up here in a minute, I believe. Maybe not. Usually it will ask you if you want it interlaced, but this seems to uh, have saved just fine. So that is a, um, a quick and dirty guide to a transparency. No more highlighting around. I hope you've enjoyed it.